the JNU crisis really seems to be spiraling with every passing day. Those are pictures that you see on your screen of uh, journalists who've gathered here in the national capital and who are now taking out a protest march from the Press Club of India all the way to the Supreme Court to register a strong protest against the shocking, absolutely ugly and unprovoked violence that was unleashed on them uh, by a mob of goons who came in the garb of lawyers at the Patiala House Court in Delhi yesterday. As we said, completely unprovoked violence that was unleashed on students and teachers of the Jawaharlal Nehru University as well as the reporters and the camera persons who were present there at the court and were simply doing their job of covering a court case. These lawyers came out of nowhere, threatened and thrashed not just students and teachers from JNU, but even journalists who were present there just doing their job. They first came and asked everyone from the Jawaharlal Nehru University as well as those from the media to leave the court premises. They were forced out of the court and then things got worse when these lawyers not just verbally abused and threatened the students, the teachers and the journalists, but then decided to take the law into their own hands and began indiscriminately and brutally thrashing whoever they could lay their hands on. Many of them were journalists, many of them teachers and students of the Jawaharlal Nehru University. Pretty, pretty ugly scenes were witnessed at the Patiala House Court yesterday before the hearing um, of the sedition case, before the hearing of the sedition case that has been slapped on JNU Students Union President Kanhaya Kumar. And now, in protest against that ugly violence that we saw yesterday, you have scores of journalists gathering here in the heart of the national capital, taking out a protest march from the press club to the Supreme Court to register a strong protest and to send out the message that this kind of unprovoked violence cannot be accepted. It is completely unjustified and completely unacceptable. The journalists, remember, were gathered there just to do their job. They were there to cover a court case, to cover a court hearing. And what happened was unprecedented and extremely ugly with these lawyers, goons really, in the garb of lawyers, terming everyone present there anti-national and before they knew what was happening, these journalists, along with students and teachers of the Jawaharlal Nehru University, were beaten up. Many of them thrashed brutally. Some of them even had to be taken to hospital after that very ugly incident, which raises so many questions, really, about the whole approach to this nationalism debate, which is currently on here in the national capital. This whole debate about nationalism versus anti-nationalism, patriotic Indians versus those who are being so indiscriminately and loosely uh, labelled, including journalists who are just doing their job, being labelled anti-national by people like those goons who gathered at the Patiala House Court yesterday. In fact, my colleague Sonal Mehrotra, who was covering the, the court proceedings at Patiala House Court yesterday, was one of those journalists who was abused and threatened verbally. And uh, she was, in fact, her, she had a phone snatched from her and she was told by those lawyers in no uncertain terms, leave the court or you will be harmed. Leave the court or we will break your phone and your bones. Those are the kind of threats that were issued two journalists including my colleague Sonal Mehrotra who were present at the court yesterday all they were doing was their job all that they were doing was covering the court proceedings